Last week, I came up with an idea for a design project to bring some life to my bedroom and temporary office. Hey there, I'm Tim Ung, and in this video, I'm going to show you my process of designing and making a DIY corner shelf for succulent plants. I start by measuring the corner to get an idea of what constraints will guide this project. I'm limited to roughly 13 inches in one direction and about 36 inches in the other. Another set of constraints is the maximum size my Glowforge laser cutter can cut, which is roughly 19 inches wide by 11 inches long. The maximum thickness of plywood that I can cut is a quarter inch. To design this DIY corner shelf, I start by using the wood shelf and coat racks 3D model as a base. This helps me reference any design details that I want to replicate with this new design project. For every design project, the process of drawing each piece is the same. I start with a line and create the overall shape of the primary component of the project. In this case, it's the shelf, which is 10 and a half inches square. I add finger joints around the perimeter by copying the joints from my other projects and I delete or trim excessive lines. Then I move on to designing the side panels. For this project, there will be one on each side, which comes out to four panels. I decided to make each shelf roughly three and a quarter inches tall, so I could fasten the top and bottom of the side panels into drywall anchors in my wall. To join the shelf into the side panels, I copy the slots from my previous projects and center them in the side panels. I add finger joints to the ends of the side panels so that they can overlap and join at the corners. I also add round cutouts where the fasteners will be located on two of the side panels. As a way of double checking my design, I extrude each panel to the thickness of the plywood and assemble a 3D model of the shelf. By creating a 3D model of all my projects, I get a better understanding of how every piece comes together, and I can catch any errors now before the pieces are cut. Now it's time to apply a protective paper masking tape to the surface of the quarter inch plywood that I'm using for this project. I'll be using a mix of cherry and mahogany plywood that I have left over from previous projects. This protects the surface from any burns during the laser cutting process. I load the plywood into my Glowforge laser cutter and begin the magical process of cutting every piece. Now that the pieces are cut, I remove the paper masking tape to reveal the beautiful surfaces of the plywood. I organize all of my pieces so that I could avoid any confusion during the assembly process. Instead of wood glue, I decided to use a super glue called MaxiCure from a company called Bob Smith Industries. It dries very quickly and creates a strong bond between the pieces. I assemble each of the shelves in the same way, one piece at a time. When all the shelves are assembled, I apply Odie's oil, which is a natural oil finish, onto the surface of the plywood to reveal the beautiful textures in the wood and to provide a protective sealed finish. Thank you. 
I bring the shelves to my bedroom along with drywall anchors, a ruler, level, screwdriver, and a pencil. I start the installation process by measuring the various heights where I want to install each shelf and marking those locations on my wall. I hold one shelf against the highest mark that I made on the wall, place the level on top of the shelf to make sure that it's horizontal, and push my pencil through the pre-cut holes to mark the locations where the fasteners will be installed. I repeat this process at every height. Using my screwdriver, I fasten the self-drilling drywall anchors into my wall. Then, I hold the shelf so that the holes are aligned with the drywall anchors and fasten it to the wall with the screws. With the shelves installed, I bring my new plants to my backyard with some fresh soil mix. I've never actually planted anything before, but I'm excited to learn. I fill each ceramic pot with the fresh soil and carefully transplant each plant into them. I gently tuck the plants in and press down on the soil to firm it up. Then, I bring the plants to my new shelves, arrange, then rearrange, and admire the beauty of my new baby plants. Now, I can take a break during my workday or turn over when I'm laying in bed and admire the succulent plants. They serve as a reminder that no matter how my days go, good or bad, there's something depending on me to take care of it so I can continue to grow and flourish. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'm Tim Ung, and this is Ung Studio. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you again next week.